Welcome to my assignment in physical chemistry. I got the exercise 30.112. A small cube of sodium with a density of 0.968 gram per cubic centimeter measuring one millimeter on each edge is added to 0.1 liter of water. The following reaction occurs. Two natrium atoms plus two water molecules reacts to two caustic soda plus hydrogen. What is the freezing point of the resulting solution, assuming that the reaction goes to completion? We can say that the resulting solution is very dilute, so assume idle behavior. Assume the amount of water consumed in the reaction is negligible. So we got the given information, the density of the sodium cube, and the information that every length of the edge is one millimeter. So we got a volume of one cubic millimeter. Because we got a cube, and in this case, the height multiplied by the white multiplied by the depth equals the volume. And the volume of one cubic millimeter is one multiplied by 10 to the power of negative three cubic centimeters. The formula for the freezing point is the cryoscopic constant of water multiplied by B, the molality, multiplied by I, the Fentoff factor. The cryoscopic constant of water is negative 1.853 Kelvin kilogram per mole. The molality B is the molar amount of caustic soda divided by the mass of the solvent, which is in this reaction water, and I, the Fentoff factor, is in this reaction 2. So the only parameter we need to identify is B, the molality. But before we can calculate B, we need to do some calculations before, which I will separate into individual steps in the following. To calculate the molality, you need the molar amount of caustic soda. The molar amount of caustic soda is equal to the molar amount of sodium. The molar amount of sodium is calculated with the mass of sodium divided by the molar mass of sodium. And the molar mass of sodium is the volume multiplied by the density, which you can see on the right side. And this is our first step. And if you put in all the given facts into the formula, you get a mass of sodium of 9.68 multiplied by 10 to a power of negative four gram. In the second step, you calculate the molar amount of sodium with the mass we calculated in the step before, divided by the molar mass of sodium, which is 22.9 gram per mole. And this is 4.289 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative five mole. If you have a look at the reaction of the both, you can see that the molar amount of caustic soda is equal to the molar amount of sodium. So now we got every parameter to calculate the molality in our formula. And as you can see on the right side on the whiteboard, if you put in all the facts we calculated in the steps before, we get a molality of 4.289 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 7 mole per gram. Now we put the calculated molality into our formula for the freezing point reduction and get a temperature of 1.6 multiplied by 10 to a power of negative 3 Kelvin. As you can see, the freezing point of the caustic soda solution is essentially zero, which is my result.